Yo, that was good. Yeah, they missed it. I should have done that before. I didn't see you could see it, but um. It's alright. I'll see on the screen. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Hamza, ha ha I don't know how to say that. Hazmaz. Why my face? I honestly don't know. I'm probably having a heart attack. Let's be real. Why are you going to tell? Just keep the stream on. Yeah. Just let's leave it running. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um. So we got Blame Elise on the attacking team. Odin's Legion on the defending. That's all been swapped over. The attackers have got one musket. The defenders have got two. Let's see what we can do. Or oh, what they do, I should say. We're going to be doing nothing apart from watching. <laughs> I am kind of worried about the fact that they've not got much in the way of anti-cav and they've just seen a really heavy cav team. Um, I'm going to tab at the beginning of this so we can actually see what the units were because I wasn't... Yeah. Um, I didn't really look properly if i'm honest <laughs> uh yeah I, i'm kind of worried to see how they'll they'll deal with that cap spam um if they if they successfully defend a the first time um it looks like a solid uh, yeah the standard you send two oh. to be uh there's no one on b to kind of stop this actually there's one there's so they're two. trebbing straight off the bat yeah they've got big mac over there big mac and bravo are over there bravo did really well in that last battle as well another shout out to that guy he did he did awesome right so let's look at the units quick so the attackers have got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sets of Keshigs. The defenders have got two. They've got a lot of Fort Brachio though. A lot of Fort Brachio. They've got a lot of Modal. They've got IPGs as well, so this should be interesting. Yeah. They're completely ignoring B, uh, apart from the two dudes that are over there. The breach is about to fall on the A side. Mm, we got Drayton and the Llama the Bird over here though. I think Dray is Drayton playing Musket as well? I can't see. Where is he? No, he's short sword, I think now. Uh, no, he's Polax. Oh, Polax, he's Polax, alright. So I was just thinking if he would like be bombing them from the from the top, but he's not. <laughs> right. So the gate's down on the A side. Apparently they just chopped it down. Yeah. The breach is also down on the A side. You still got Bravo and Big Mac over there being pain in the buttholes. Yeah. We're going to have a quick look at this setup from the uh, defenders, sorry. So they've got Fort Brachio on there, on the bridge. Madau, Palace, Palace Guards, Guards. Madau, two sets yeah. of Madau. In the back here, they've got quite a bit as well. They've got, they have got Shenzhen's up. They do have Shenzhen's up. I don't see the flame. The flamers are probably in this big old blob. Yeah. yeah. I'll, That's I'll what you can probably look. Uh, yeah. this, is, this is an invite on A, which is quite clever, but also where ballsy. where is it gonna come from to it's, uh it's ballsy and they've given up the breach as well which is surprising um they didn't fight at all for breach uh, yeah now, now they're doing the now attackers on... expect the defenders to move around as well so they've already pre-trebbed it although that's all of the trebs missed <laughs> the flame is there though from the attackers are going to do work that's, that's a that's a weird strat on defense because the attacker the defenders are now attacking a um, yeah, it's like a role reverse. They've, they've already got A already as yeah, well. That, like that is quick. A that's A done. Well, They're on B done. already as well. Holy crap! Wow, these rotations, and now they just wipe and clean. Okay, that was poor. Bravo and Big Mac have completely just uh, run past B as well. And they're going to get straight onto C. The defenders wow. have lost five heroes already, so they're, they're respawn. They're going to try getting onto C. Big Mac and Bravo are not going to go for C. Probably try and uh, just in case they defend C they'll go to uh... oh no they're trying to stop the the, re the retreat Big Mac's there to kill the heroes oh, like, wow. he stopped the retreat that's what he did well played like he just oh, killed no, he four just dudes four. quad kill <laughs> fuck me like right. shout out to Big Mac Bravo's in the background just being a pain in the ass getting the resupply Big Mac's pushing around to the east to get the dock already like holy shit blame Elias making oh, moves insane. my dudes they, they barely lost any units there as well. That was oh so God. fast. You can tell they practiced that. Like that 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 move from, from Bravo and Big Mac as well. That must have been something that they talked about before what to do. Unless they did that on the fly, and if they did, like good fucking fly, good you know? good map that awareness, was... my dudes, because that was awesome. Bravo's coming back up to do the same as what Big Mac did to just catch a couple of heroes as he comes through. Ah, uh, Drayton so and Llama the Bird here. managed managed yeah, to dodge it though. Yeah, they well. Who? Um, the attackers, right? So what, why they've got B? They've got A. They're getting if C. You don't, if you don't caps, um, if you don't cap C before the uh, the berserkers spawn, uh, the berserkers will then go and set an AFK on C. If you, ah, if so you mean they should have capped C first and then spawn them so they C, got to the end point? Then berserker. Yeah, it's commonest. Yeah, yeah. You do you you take that first for C, but it's only if they defend C that you would take it. 
like yeah yeah just for those i mean i don't i don't think they're really bothered man like they've just <laughs> they've just killed nearly 400 units well, <laughs> they, yeah, you kind of can't understand they've got 13 just... trebs they're on the end point and they've got 11 minutes i mean I think I they're happy they're so far. Yeah. I, I think, think I think they're happy. <laughs> it's, I would it's, be. <laughs> it's not playing forward defense either. This is this you you play that forward. That's a good defense. treb as well. Are they going to see it? If uh, some people have seen it. Barely hit. Barely hit. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Barely hit. That yeah, that seen. fence has blocked a yeah. lot, man. Yeah, it's a good spot. They were they were lucky. They were lucky there though. Like if a couple of them would just been like a millimeter out a little bit, that would have been that would have been a good treb. But it made them move, made them shuffle. Forward defense, um, yeah, forward defense always here. Um, I really like that the attackers are spreading out as well. They're going to basically come, well, no, they're not coming from all three sides, but I mean. they're going to come from more sides. See what I mean about this strat of, um, of, of, of splitting those defenders? Um, I think the defenders are going to have the same problem though. Look, if they push from the east now, the attackers, they've only got like two units in the way and then they're on the point already. Exactly. This forward, it's so important to get this forward defense here just to whittle down their units. Um, you don't exactly win the forward defense, but you you, you cause them enough trouble so that yeah. you can play proactively somewhere else. It's, I like what the attackers are doing. They know, they know they've got time. There's pointless rushing in for no reason. Why not get the use out of your your trebs? Is that Shenzhen up here? Two seconds. Is that missed with Shenzhen? Bombing out? Yeah, it is. Or is that Zakalian? I'll check I think that. it might be Zakalian, yeah. Uh, yeah, Zakalian. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good spot to have them in Zakalians, though. Um, it's, they're treb safe. They're, they've got that kind of back passage covered you don't really need much more than a palace guard defending it like it's... i'm pretty sure that treb was at nothing i think maybe they were just expecting range to be in the bushes then just trebbed it to be on the safe side yeah yeah so yeah. you can't see properly through the bushes and stuff but that was a good idea there's the next treb coming in i mean they've got, still got eight trebs though man so God, they're setting them up yeah and here they uh, come look here comes a big push they're coming through the back as well. i'm going to look like this so we can see what's going on a little bit them flamers are gonna do work. Get on those flamers, I would say. They... The Shenzhenir as well, grenade in the big blob. Now come Keshigs. So they just got knocked over by oh, their bombs, oh. and the Keshigs come in basically bang on time. Like that was. Oh, that Keshig in the back just pressed two right at the back. Oh, this is misplays from heroes. I think I think that that first match is really really demotivating. I think. But... Yeah, I think they're just. They're reeling, like they are reeling. Yeah. Especially after how quickly they lost A, B, and C, basically. Wow, the defenders have got six dudes up. This is this is GG, I'm afraid. This is this needs to be a forward defense. Um, is that Big Mac again with cavalry? Big Mac is is doing work, man. This is GG. Yeah, GG to him. That that was a like. Oh, Drayton's got down there though, but he's gonna like insta die. Yeah, I say he gets CC the bridge. Oh, he got on the point. Oh, he's died. Yeah, he got on the point. Yeah, but the Treb as well to preemptively stop him, although it hit oh. their own cavalry. But <laughs> that was wow, close. wow. Big Mac, that... shout out there, MVP performance. I think he got. Yeah, big out. Big Mac. It wasn't just. It was Big Mac and Bravo, and it's so a Bravo at this yeah. time. It, I mean, he did really well in the last one, like unit kills wise. But those two boys, man, just instantly reacting once they'd, uh, they they not They hadn't even taken A yet. They just shot straight through, went up to B, run straight over B, and I thought they're gonna start capping C. And then they were just like, nope. One of them went down towards the bridge. That was Big Mac and just like nuked the remaining heroes that were trying to escape. Um, Bravo went to the back reset. That was like, that plan was awesome. Like shout, blame Elias. I, I don't know if it was actually Elias who did, who's doing the shot calling, but he's the team leader at least. Nice strats, my dude. Like, holy shit. That was, that was quick. That was very quick. That was something else. I am, I am thoroughly impressed. I think, I think the way that Ugly. they-